Welcome to calendar time. All right, let's get started. Who remembers what month we are in? Yep, the month of October. All righty. And yesterday was Tuesday. If yesterday was Tuesday, what does that mean today is? I'm going to teach you guys a little hint. Take a look at the first letter of that word. We've learned that letter already. It's a W. And what sound does the W make? Remember, we did that one yesterday. The W says W. So this is a day of the week that starts with W. Hmm. And it's the day that comes after Tuesday. Yesterday was Tuesday. Today is W. Are you saying Wednesday. You're right. Good job. Today is Wednesday. And then let's do the date. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yesterday was the sixth. What's today? What's the number that comes after six? Four, five, six, seven. Today is the seventh. That means today's date is Wednesday. October 7th. Great job. Hmm. If today is Wednesday, what will tomorrow be? Do we need to sing to remember? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Tomorrow will be Thursday. Great job. All right. Go ahead and go check the weather. You can pause the video if you need to. Go check the weather. You can do it. Get up. Everybody can be the weatherman today, the weather girl. All right. What was the weather like outside today? Tell your grown-up at home. Whisper it to them. All right. Good job. So let's get another cube in today to represent another day of school. One cube worth one. Boop. How many ones do we have in the one, or did we have in the ones packet yesterday? Excuse me. We had five ones. All right, I'm going to ask you a tricky question. If one one is worth one, what's the value of five ones? Five ones are worth all right, and we had five in there yesterday. So how many do we have in there now? Let's go ahead and put another one on our 10 frame. How many ones do we have in the ones pocket now? We had five, and I put another one in there. One, two, three, four, five, six. The next number is six. I'm gonna put a six right there because there's six on our 10 frame now too. Can we regroup from six? No, we can regroup when we get 10. How many more until we get to 10? One, two, three, four. Four more until we get 10. So let's take a look. Our 10s are not going to change then. We have two 10s. What is the value of two 10s? Does anybody remember? 20. Two 10s are worth 20. So two 10s and six 1s. We read this number as 20. Six. A two and a six makes 26. So we read it as 26. Excuse me. All right. Did I get. Oh, I don't think I got my letter. Let me go get it. I'll be right back. All right. Are we ready to learn a new letter today? Let's sing. Yesterday, we did the letter W. What's the next one? A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Are you singing with me? H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X. Yeah, we're going to learn the letter X today. Oh, X is a fun letter. I think all of the letters are fun, don't you? All right, I'm going to show you an X I've got here. 
capital X, and lowercase x. Look at that. They look the same, don't they? Lowercase x is just smaller than capital X. I love it when that happens. It's much easier to learn our lowercase letters when they look the same, isn't it? All right, let's try to write one. X starts up at the top, and it's a slanted line down. Probably not so wide. And then we come to this side, and it's a slanted line that way. Pretty easy, huh? And in lowercase x looks the same. Slanted line, lift up slanted line that way. That's not the best looking X, Miss Barnard. Let's erase and do it again. Start up at the top, slant line down. Go to this side, slant line that way. Lowercase x is slanted line down, slanted line that way. Capital X, lowercase x. I want you to keep practicing those, okay? And the sound of X is that's kind of fun to say. It almost has a C sound at the beginning, C or K, K. And then it has the S sound at the end, S. You have to put those together, K, S, K, S. Yeah, we say it kind of fast, K, S. The X says, K, S. Now, X is a little bit tricky because most words that have an X in them don't start with X, mm -mm, unless it's this one, which is an X-ray. And X-ray starts with X, and it actually says the name of the letter at the beginning of that word. But most words that have an X in them have X at the end of the word. All right, let me show you some examples. This is a number. It's a picture of a number. It's a Six. Did you hear that k sound at the end of the word? Six. It's the last sound that we hear. Look at this. The X is at the end of the word for six. Yeah. Do you know what this is? It's kind of a big guy. Yeah. That is an ox. Take a look at this. Ox starts with O. It's the first sound that we hear, ah. Uh. But there's an X at the end that says X. So we could read this word. You guys could learn it today. Ox. Uh, yeah, we hear that X sound at the end of the word ox. It's the last sound that we hear. Then I've got one more picture for you. What is this guy doing? He's got a whole bunch of ingredients in there, and he is going to mix. Yeah, he's going to mix those ingredients. Mix has X at the end of the word. It's the last sound we hear when we say mix. Yeah, good job. Now, I want you to keep practicing that. I want you to write the X and practice that sound, okay? You can find X in your alphabet book as well. And remember, lowercase x looks exactly like it, just a little bit smaller. All right, good job. Okay, I have got a fun video for us to look at. It's an alphabet video, so as soon as this one is over, we're going to come right back, and I'm going to show you a fun alphabet video that you guys can sing along to.